Glassmakers throughout history have gone to great lengths to eliminate all bubbles from glass. But here we see bubbles purposefully put into the glass for their decorative effect. In this paperweight, the bubbles surround another gather of glass with twisted canes of colored glass. The paperweight is decorated with ruby red and white canes. Here, a mass of white glass has been thinly coated with transparent glass and it's being elongated to form the white cane. The cane is cut into segments about two inches long. The canes are then placed into a mold and heated to a temperature of about 700 degrees Fahrenheit. A mass of clear glass is lowered into the mold and the canes stick to the sides. Reheating and marvering are used to make certain that the canes are perfectly flush with the surface of the glass. The end is held with a tool, pulled, and the blowpipe is twisted. The intention here is to make a cane that will be cut into segments. Each segment can be used for a separate paperweight. Each segment is broken free of its gathering blowpipe and attached to yet another blowpipe. And after significant reheating, marvering, and tooling, a layer of glass is gathered on top of this cane. This outer layer of glass is lowered into an optic mold, here a pineapple type mold, that creates dents in the surface. After this gather has cooled significantly, it's lowered into a pot of molten glass. And because the glass is thick, it's viscous, the glass doesn't flow into the deepest recesses of the dents, and air bubbles result. A wood block, in this case with a spherical profile, is used to shape the glass. A constriction has to be made between the blowpipe and the mass of glass to enable it to be broken free later in the process. The wood block is used again to make certain that the paperweight is perfectly spherical. A small amount of glass is added to the tip of the paperweight, flattened. This will provide a spot for the attachment of a punty. The paperweight is broken free, transferred to the punty. Next, a foot is created. First, a bit of hot glass is added to the end and tooled to become a disc. Another mass of glass is added, and this will become the stem.
A large gather of hot glass is added to the tip of the stem, and it's from this that the foot will be formed using a footboard. The paperweight is transferred to the punty. The small bit of glass that had been added to the tip of the paperweight to allow the punty to be attached has to be reheated, removed, smoothed to make the top of the paperweight perfectly round. The block is used to give it its final profile.